Welcome back to another episode of Where Joe Throws. Today we are playing at Lloyd Park, located southwest of Calgary at Red Deer Lake. Lloyd Park is a pay to play course, which is $5 per person to play. Make your way to the main office and drop box where you can make your payment by cash in order to obtain your visitor parking pass. Lloyd is a full 18 hole course with washrooms, a practice basket, and shares space with many walking trails. Since the park is semi-private, we find that it's often not too busy. This is one of my favorite courses to play in the Calgary area, featuring a lot of shot variety and hole distances. I'm excited to share my round with you and I'll meet you at hole one. We're at hole one, it's 402 feet and it's a par three. This hole is directly in the middle of the fairway, just off to the left is the basket and the trees that you see in the fairway, the basket is just behind those. My play on this hole is to throw something stable at these trees right there and then have it come to the left so that I have an easy upshot with a forehand. I find that if you throw something too flippy, you can be pinched off behind the trees and you don't want that. It's a much further way to get around to the basket, but also a much trickier line. So I like to just go and keep it simple. I'll be throwing the Latitude 64 Grace just straight at those trees. And Heiser, perfect spot. This should be a very routine approach. I'm just gonna throw a zone on a forehand. Little sidearm zone pitch up. And just sit, perfect. It's a putt and we're gonna make it. There we go. Hole one, par, that feels great. Let's move on to hole two. Hole two, 300 feet, and it is a par three. This hole goes straight behind me and then curves off slightly to the right. There are a bunch of trees on the right and left hand side, so you don't wanna be in those. Other than that, it should be a pretty routine up and down, but just heads up on the high, high branches up on the top there. You don't wanna to throw too high, so keep it low if possible. I'm going to be throwing a destroyer out straight on a forehand and have it come to the right towards the basket. There we go. Kept it low enough. Get the skip. Not bad. That'll be a jump putt for sure. Maybe even a putt. Here's where I landed. I do have a good putt. I would say I'm just outside of the circle. Come on, more height. Let's see if player two can convert. There we go, come on. Oh, inches. So close. Hole three, 276 feet to the pin, and it is a par three. Some things to watch out for on this hole are just the low ceiling for one. There's a bunch of branches that you could get caught up in, as well as the right hand side. You do not want to be right on this hole because those trees can just suck you in. But anything up to the basket or close to the basket, you're looking at a putt and there are quite a few trees to contend with. So just hopefully you can manage that and get close up to the pin. I'll be throwing my pro shrike on a slight bit of a hyzer. I almost aced this hole just a little while, little while back. I just hit the basket, but so I'm like still trying to get that ace with this one. So let's see if we can do it. Oh, that's not gonna be it. Come on, skip. Woo, that slid so much. Still has glide even on the ground. <laughs> We've got a slight left to right headwind, um, just super slight, but my disc made it so far down. I'm trying to snake a birdie here. Perfect. Wow, that was a super lucky birdie. The drive released so low, but just because of the leaves and I guess the glide on the Shrike is just amazing, but it just like, wow, that was amazing. Thank you, basket. Hole four, 513 feet to the pin. It is the first par four out of many. What I like to do on this hole is I like to make it past this Y tree you see in the middle of the fairway. I like to make it past that on my first shot, and then I have an up shot to the mouth of the green, and then after that I have a putt or potentially another approach, and then I can either get my birdie or my par. I'll be throwing my sidewinder on a hyzer and the goal is to just beat that wide tree, like I said, and just get as much distance as I can. 
Come on, back now, Heiser. Okay, we beat the tree, we're well up the fairway. We should be looking at an easy approach. So here is where I landed, and for the second shot, I like to throw actually a forehand at these trees on the left. A little flex forehand to get down the fairway and just stay in the middle. I like throwing the forehand because I find the backhand can skip into those trees, the evergreens on the left, and it just is a much trickier up and down from that side. I find the right hand side is a little bit more open and it opens up my approach to have another forehand. But yeah, that's why I like to throw the sidearm up to the green. There we go. That had a really nice panning Anheuser line to it and now I have a shot for a birdie, but it'll most likely be a layup because there's some OB barbed wire fence. We have a right to left gusting headwind. So I'm gonna give it a soft bid and just have, it, have one spin in there, float in there maybe. But yeah, I won't be doing anything crazy because of that OB on the back of the basket there. Go, oh, that was a solid effort. Almost made the putt, but just a little low. Hole five, 189 feet to the pin, and there's so many different lines that you could go with here. The only thing you need to be careful for is the OB on the right-hand side. Other than that, there's many different lines. There's a backhand, forehand. I like to go with the forehand stable approach and just chip it up there. So that's what I'm gonna do, but let me know in the comments, what would you do? I'm gonna be aiming at this left-hand side here, this gap, and I'm throwing the Clemonade straight from Cle Chris Clemens himself. He sent this to me a while back when I first started my disc golf journey, I guess. Uh, but yeah, thank you to Chris. Go support him and grab one of these Glimmer Verdicts. They are gorgeous and super stable. Now, Heiser. Okay. Oh my gosh, a little high. And even higher. <laughs> Well, it wasn't meant to be. Just tap it in for the par. Hole six, 453 feet, and it is a par three. This hole is just straight behind me. As you see those bare trees behind me, this hole is just off to the right of those. It is two pretty big shots, so hopefully your first one gets you right in the middle of the fairway. And that, I like to throw like an understable an understable disc right into the middle of the fairway and then I have a, an approach with a zone usually. I'm just gonna be throwing my Roadrunner here just flat and have it just glide out there. Should be just fine right there. Here we go, I'm gonna be throwing my zone just out wide and have it come straight down towards the basket there. And just get the skip. And we have a putt. There we go. Got about a 25 footer here for par. Oh, tickled the chains. And that is what you call a compensation station. One went left, one went right. But we'll clean it up here and I'll get my bogey and move on. Hole seven, 225 foot, par three. And this hole is a dog leg right, just tucked into the trees back there. The hole is kind of hiding away, but the trees make it super duper tricky. So what you'd like to go for here on this shot is probably some sort of backhand Anheuser, or you could throw a forehand hyzer and get yourself nice and close for the birdie. For this shot, I like to go with a high hyzer and try to beat some of those trees. There's like a little gap in between the two sections of trees and I try to go right through the middle there and get as close as I can. And sometimes you can get a nice little skip up there. Okay, we're looking at a putt probably, so we should be in good hands. We'll see if I can make a putt over there and hopefully I'm not under that big tree. Okay, so this is probably around 20 to 25 feet I would say. But yeah, definitely a look. Oh my gosh, that was so online. Oh, 
I'm a little, I'm a little ticked off on that one. That should have been in. Okay, guess we'll have to settle with the par. Hole eight, 306 feet to the pin and it is a par three. So on this shot, you, you don't really want anything that's gonna hyzer out too early or too, or fade too much to the right. So basically you want just something straight and down the middle of that fairway. If you end up on either of those sides in the trees, can definitely make this shot pretty tricky. I like to throw something relatively straight to stable at this big tree and hope that it just hyzers out in front of it so I can have an easy uh, little up there. This is an undertaker and I'm just gonna throw it honestly straight at these trees. Perfect, that is as probably as good as I am gonna get it there, so I may as well just throw one for part. Go, oh, the line was there, just needed the height. Let's go get a part. Hole nine, 639 feet to the pin, and it is a par four. This hole is definitely gettable for the birdie, what you want to do is just get your first shot down as much as you can into the fairway and the second shot is the most important because of the trees that are guarding the approach to the basket. So you really want to make sure you dial in that second shot and then hopefully you have a look at the birdie. We have a left to right wind on this hole so I'm just going to throw my grace and hope that that is enough stability to fight the wind and I'm going to throw it out to the right and have it just dump into the fairway. There we go. Should be a fine spot. Awesome. That sets me up for the approach getting into the green. So we'll go see what we can do with that. Next up is Undertaker. I'm going to throw it backhand through this gap in the middle here and hope that it skips up to the fairway. Yes, go. Oh. It's always so tricky getting through all the branches. Thankfully it's fall right now, so I thought I'd be able to get through. And it's a little easier, but still got caught up. But that's okay, it's a relatively easy up and down from there. After I move all the leaves, just a slight touch so I don't slip and fall. I'm just gonna have myself a nice jump putt just up to the basket. Awesome, that looks perfect. Just a nice easy little tap in now. Thank you guys so much for watching The Front Nine at Lloyd Park. I hope that one day you're able to come and check out this amazing course. It's a beautiful property. You gotta check it out for yourself, it's amazing. Thank you guys again, and please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, all of those things. It really supports our channel. So thank you again so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.